Have you been inspired by I've been inspired by the anime. Inspired by the anime. <laughs> it's very much a renovation day. It scares me every time. Just starting off the vlog looking like an absolute toe again. My hair is greasy and I need a shower. Oh, do I need to shave my arms? Oh no. Yeah. Therefore, it is a day to Peloton. Um, I have to say, doing these weekly vlogs, I feel like it holds me slightly accountable and I've actually been on my Peloton regularly for like the last two, three weeks. More than I have been since April last year. I will take that, um, but yeah, time to do this, then time to shower. Because these sunglasses are polarized, I can never actually see myself. <laughs> Am I there? I'm there, okay, we're filming. I've just been for an eye test, fun times. Always fun when they shoot the air, the puff in your eye. <laughs> I genuinely, <laughs> it scares me every time. I wish I could be cool and just take it. The lady in boots was like, yeah, sometimes people just like take it and are very stoic. That was not me. Um, I was like there with my eyes watering. Um, I feel like I really haven't vlogged much today because today has just been admin. Monday is very quickly becoming just like an admin day, just like catching up, making sure I'm there with like emails, all behind the scenes kind of boring stuff. So this morning has been very much boring stuff. I've done my eye test and now I'm gonna go and drive and meet the boys in the park. So that's me done for Monday. Tomorrow is gonna be way more fun, let me tell you. Mark and I are off to London today and we need to leave. <laughs> like two minutes ago. So I do a quick outfit of the day. I'll explain when we're up there and keep it quick. Um, I'm wearing the Suzanne cardigan. This is the Nanushka vegan leather tank top. Um, have a feeling I might regret this later on because I'm already sweating. Uh, these are the redone high rise stovepipe jeans with the stretchy ones. I liked they were a little bit tighter because the top was a little bit baggier. The mango sandals and then the Celine oversized hover bag. Right, let's run. <laughs> Join us in North Acton in London. Um, <laughs> Next to a busy <laughs> road. Very busy road. Um, but we've come up here for the day to do two things. Number one is a renovation thing. Um, we've been going to so many different glazing places um, because the glazing of our kitchen extension is like such a big part. Yeah, we of, want to make sure we get it right. Yeah, it's like the biggest part, it's the most expensive part, so we want to make sure that we get it right. So we've been going to loads of different glazing places and looking at sliding doors, bonded windows, and talking about brow colours. Sight lines. Yes, yeah, sight lines, yeah, marine, colors, marine yeah. grade coatings. <laughs> like really boring things, but it feels like the things that we really need to get right because it's gonna make such a huge difference to the project and the renovations. That's really exciting. So we're gonna go see a place called Max Light, which is a place that you've that's been like your number one the whole time. Yeah, I think, well, the architects, the Flower Michelin, yeah. put that as one of their recommendations, didn't they, so. Yeah, so we're in London to see Max Light in person, and it's always just so good to like, see it in person. Yeah, see and, the like, windows, see the doors, exactly. like, see them, feel them, like, open them, close them. Exactly. You know, nice, yeah. So we're here to do that, that's like, the main part of our day and then a fun little thing um Suzanne which you saw me go to in a previous vlog actually I'll link that up in the corner there's a shop on Westbourne Grove and they've converted part of that shop into their menswear section that's called October edition October edition well it's um, the French way of spelling October so the much fancier it, better well, way <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone to say it badly you know <laughs> than what we can say um but it looks really cool and Mark's been on their website and you were like oh oh what were you, what are you eyeing up? Oh, there's quite a lot of stuff, you know. It's like the jackets, she said, were really nice. The jackets are nice. I'm actually thinking about some, maybe some light wash denim. Oh! Maybe, yeah, you've been maybe. You've been inspired I've by been inspired by the anime. <laughs> and ladies for oh, yeah. that and it was just nice to catch up with them and it's just a really cool store and now it's got the little October editions in the corner. Oh um, yeah it's so nice. Really nice. <laughs> I could have got every like every single thing in there I was like that's really nice that's really nice oh yeah that's really nice as well. I was chatting to someone and then I look around and you're like try it on a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's a good little spot to go to I mean I just love walking around this part of town it's just mad around oh. here and Westbourne Grove is such a good spot 
just for some like window shopping, having a peruse, a nice lunch. Mm. You can't go wrong. Gallivanting around town is so much fun. And it was so fun to do that with Mark today. Like we mentioned, we haven't done that in the longest time. And it was a whirlwind. We actually weren't in town that long. We really like packed everything in, came home. We're currently in the midst of like dinner, bath time, bed, that whole shebang. Um, but yeah, just to, just to keep it real, this now means that Mark and I will be on our laptops for most of the evening. I was like, don't watch anything tempting on TV. Like I can't watch TV tonight. I need to have a bit of laptop time. And um, we started watching the Woodstock 99 documentary on Netflix. I think it's called Trainwreck. And it seems like a good documentary, but I was like, not tonight. I need to have some laptop time. So laptop time and I will see you again in the morning. Good morning. Um, I actually woke up before the boys today, which was really nice. I felt like I got to take a few things off of my list by like 7am. So <laughs> that's always good. And now I'm just rushing to get ready. What's new? I do not have time to do my hair properly today. So I'm just taking some of the Hershison's Almost Everything Cream, putting it between my hands, running that through my hair. I'm gonna do slip back bun. It's basically my go-to style on days when I'm in a rush, AKA today, and days when I'm due a hair wash slash Peloton workout soon. I'm gonna get really sweaty and I'm gonna need to wash my hair after that, which also, it's one of those days as well. Double whammy. I've learned that the two tips are some kind of styling cream, mousse, and then a bristle brush, a little bit like this. This one's from Basecamp Beauty, it's lovely. It's kind of curved, so it like hugs the head, and then I kind of scrape it back, use this to smooth it over, and pop it up. All right, now let's just wind it into a bun. I know some people use pins for this, but doesn't really hold my hair up, so I kind of just spin, spin it around. Oh my God, this is not a hair tutorial. <laughs> Disclaimer on the screen, this is not a hair tutorial. I'm terrible at hair. It's in. Oh, it's not. Oh, I need another hairband. I would show you the back of it, but I, I know it's not very good. Is it terrible? Oh, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. It's out of my face and off my neck, which is good because I think it's going to be 28 degrees in London today. Woo! That is a hot one. Um, but yes, we are back in London today. Mark and I are back in London for <laughs> the second day in a row. I'm not sure that has happened for years, to be honest. Um, but today is very much a renovation day. We're going to see Pluck. Pluck have more of a vibe. Like you can tell it's a Pluck kitchen. They have a really snazzy way of doing like handles that aren't handles kind of. And that's like their signature look. Everything is made in the UK. Then we're coming back here and we're meeting with our builder and his landscaping guy. Um, so yeah, just very much like a renovation day, which is so fun. And we really need to have more of these because our renovation is due to start like mid-October, which is actually really quite soon. Oh, you are facing a little bit upwards, which is not cute. That's so it does mean tonight, tomorrow, I'm gonna be on my laptop, um, but all very exciting times. Also very exciting is that this video is sponsored by Glossier, which is incredible. I worked with them on their eye pencil launch. Those eye pencils are beautiful, kiln, still a fave. But today I'm working with them on you, which you know <laughs> is one of my favorite perfumes. I'm like not a huge perfume kind of person. I have a very small selection that I like, and they're very subtle, they're very fresh, they're very not in your face kind of fragrances. And this to me is the ultimate. I'd go as far to say that it's my favorite fragrance, full stop. It's by far the one that I get complimented on the most. Not to say I like never get complimented on my perfume, but I wouldn't say I'm one of those people because I don't wear really strong, kind of in your face perfumes. I feel like my perfumes just like go under the radar a bit, but this one I have been complimented on before, which is always like, I don't know, it just feels nice when someone does that. And also it's the one that I can smell most on other people. I remember when I did my book tour and I would be like hugging people, saying hi, and I'd always be like, oh my gosh, you smell amazing. And they were like, it's Glossier You. And I was like, I'm wearing that as well. <laughs> it's one of those smells different, on everyone, it really gives you just like a personalized, like you, but a little bit fresher, you know? I love the Glossier call it like a skin smell enhancer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It just, it doesn't like cover you in a cloud. It's just very natural. It just enhances your natural essence. And that is why I love it so much. So I was more than happy to partner with Glossier on this video because I was like, 
it's, it's my favourite perfume. And it's just gone viral on TikTok. Did anyone spot that? I was like, oh, it, it reminded me. I always normally have a bottle of this in my stash and I'd used it up, I'd moved on to something new and I just needed it back in my life. I think, I mean, it's simple, look at the bottle. It's so simple, it's so chic. I love this like thumbprint it has on the front, it makes it really nice to hold. So if our perfume preferences are the same, it's definitely one to try out. Or if you're like me and you tried it before and you're just like, you know what, I need to have it back in my life. I'll pop the link down below for you. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love it. And thank you to Glossier for partnering with me on this video because you is just my fave. Babes, can you come smell me? Oh, you're very glossy at you today, actually. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's really nice. It's a good one. Oh, you've, got, you've had that before, right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. It's so nice. I didn't even, I didn't even tell him to say that. <laughs> right, okay, we now need to leave or else we're going to be very late. So, see you in a bit. Let me talk you through what we've got here. So this is air dried pie? No, oak. air dried oak. Yeah, air, air dried oak. Yep, that's it. Cladding. Which, uh, yeah, we'll be using for the cladding on the outside and that it will be treated as well. This is raw, but it will be treated. So it should bring it more in line with this sample, which is... Sweet chestnut from Pluck. Sweet chestnut from Pluck, um, who we just went to go see. So they were suggesting doing the tall units the tall cabinet units in our kitchen in this wood and also the island in the wood and then having the rest of the units there's going to be like a run of lower units but they'll be behind the island so you won't be able to see them as well um so he was like you might as well just use a color for that it's more cost effective a color a color white, <laughs> white. <laughs> but I have amazing colors like really really cool I actually really like this moss green and he actually suggested Eccles, but Eccles look. It looks a bit brownie then when you kind of showed me. You know what? Even on camera, it it's actually... really difficult. It's a colour that I think I'm still not like 100%. I think this could look. It quite could cool. work. Yeah, it's in in person. It looks a little bit pinky when you put it with everything else. This is just there. I think they call it like half. He did mention white. that we could get some slightly bigger samples, didn't he? Yes, he does actually. So that might be helpful. That might be helpful. Yeah. So. Maybe some cabinetry in either one of these two. This is the bow work colour that we were talking about last week in Quiet. And then this is a quartz worktop um, from a company called Caesar Stone and it's in the shade Fresh Concrete? Fresh Concrete, yeah. Fresh Concrete. So this is kind of like the kitchen and this is outside and then this is outside as well. This is a zinc top for our roof basically, which is very Yeah, just cool. for some of the... Um kind of upstand of the of the roof. And on our roof is going to be a green roof as mm -hmm. well, so that's very cool. And then what our builder just dropped around is some of these Lazenby samples for polished concrete on the floor. Um, are these, these are the ones, aren't we, that we like looked on the website and we were yeah. like, oh yeah, these are the ones that we like. Yeah, yeah. So I think this one is a bit dark and that one's a little bit like grey grey. So we can push yeah, those aside. that one. But it's these two. Like natural. How do we feel about these two, they come up so different on camera actually. This one looks a lot more like bluey and grey. Does it? This one is lazy, cool grey, cool grey, there you go. And this one is imperial grey. Mm. So how, how do we feel about these two? Something in me says this one. I think that looks bloody great. Bloody great. Bloody great. <laughs> It's difficult, isn't it? I think our interior designer, Rebecca Wakefield, when we talked her through this, actually mentioned this one because it had a bit more warmth to it. It's like mm. a bit of yellowiness. Imperial grey. Light natural definitely looks different to the website. Yeah, that one looks... That's too light. I think she said that's too, too light. light. So all we're waiting on now are the clay pavers that are going to be directly outside the door. And then our architects should be able to help us with this which is the final step, which is picking the row color for our glazing because the color of the, like the aluminium powder coating or whatever, the glazing isn't gonna be black or gray or white. Um, it's gonna be something 
a little bit different, like maybe a little bit browny. Um, because originally we were gonna have them as timber frames, but we live near the sea, so timber frames and glazing a little bit tricky. Um, so yeah, once we've got all of, that's the final bit, right? The clay pavers. Clay pavers, yeah, and then yeah, and then once we can let them another outer and then we're like We've got our we've got our kitchen palette, which is very cool. I finally cleared up the bedding in this room. Gold medal for me. Mark and I actually had a huge clear out last week, like huge. We spent all weekend clearing out, moving stuff around, I guess, in preparation for the renovation. God, lots of rhyming. Knowing that basically everything that's downstairs is gonna have to come upstairs or be sold or like go somewhere else. Um, it's currently half nine. It's absolutely pouring down with rain. Um, there was a massive storm and it woke me up at 4.45. So that was really fun and I thought, I'm not going back to sleep here, so I might as well just get up. So I did. And I've basically been on my laptop since then. But in a way, it's quite nice when it's one of these rainy days because otherwise I'm like, I want to film TikToks, I want to film reels. I've got to like make content, do videos. But when the weather is so pants and horrible and gray, everything that you shoot is going to look gray and horrible. So I'm just leaning into it. And instead I'm writing a blog post. Oh. Once upon a time, I was so on it with blog posts. I mean, I used to do nine a week and then i went to kind of once a week and then i went to once every two weeks i'm definitely treating the blog at the moment as just like an accompaniment to everything else and when the feeling comes to me or i feel like there's something that i want to write about i'll write about it hence i'm writing a blog post on a thursday and i'm probably just gonna upload it when i write it so i'm gonna finish this off it's definitely a sweaty hair day again because i put that hair mask thing in yesterday so i cannot go out <laughs> looking like this but i am gonna try and do a peloton before peloton get ready and then zoe is launching a jewelry collab today um with someone called carrie elizabeth and the pieces look gorgeous she sent me over a little sneak peek um so i look forward to like celebrating the launch of that so a very fun day once again see i told you monday was the boring admin day i told you this week was gonna get good Today we just did we just did a ponytail and a ponytail it is just hair <laughs> there is zero style to it and it's been it's been a year since i've had a haircut that's really disgusting sorry hairdressers watching this you probably just recoiled but it's time it feels like it's time to do something with this hey maybe that will be the next video um but that was lovely i got to see so many of my favorites and also meet new people too um it was lovely to see chessie again chessie king um our babies are like a similar age and we haven't seen each other since we had babies so that was lovely to catch up i saw liv liv purvis and i got to meet new people too i met lauren um curvy roma i'm sure loads of you follow her already on instagram and we sat we had a really like good conversation about like where we were both at in life and like things that we were doing and then had probably a half an hour conversation about squash and how much we both love Robinson's squashed. Which if you know, you know. Do you also love Robinson's squashed? Like the squash that is in the little like squeezy pack. Do you know the one I mean? Um, also, viewers from overseas, you might not be familiar with squash, but it's it's almost like cordial. It's like cordial, fruit cordial that you mix with water. And that's always what I'm drinking whenever I'm drinking a big pint of pink juice. <laughs> that is what I'm drinking. But it was so funny. I, I rarely meet people who are as obsessed with squash as I am. This is such a random conversation, um, but that was, <laughs> it was really good. We were there for a very long time talking about squash. Obviously lovely to see Zoe and meet Carrie Elizabeth, who she's collaborated with on this jewelry collection, which I'm sure will be out by the time this video comes out. Um, and I got this. A little gold band with two stones of peridot, um, which is one of the ones that she designed for the collection. And I can't remember what it's called, but the idea is that it's in peridot, which is Otty's birthstone, which is also my baby's birthstone. And there's like a big one and a small one for like her and Otty. So I was like, oh man, it could be like me and Ralph. So I really, really like that. I think it goes with everything else I've already got in my hands. So thank you very much for that, guys. And thank you so much to Glossier for partnering with me on this video. You is incredible. And I, I feel like the comments are just going to be a sea of people 
people say like what a good fragrance is because it is so universally loved and universally adored um what does it smell like on you question of the day what do you feel like you smells like on you sorry that's very confusing but i'm sure you get what i'm trying to say here um i'm clocking off for the evening almost five o'clock got to sort out dinner for three mouths in this household so i'm clocking off thank you so much for watching this week it feels like it's a shorter vlog than normal but it's been a bit of a whirlwind because we've just been out and about Mark and I were saying we're so looking forward to tonight. We're not going to sit with our laptops. We're going to have like a full on comfort watch night, eat Augusto in front of the TV and do like a location, location, location from like five years ago or something. <laughs> that is perfect night for me right now. Um, so I will see you soon for a brand new vlog. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.